Hello, this is Final Door 321. I'm going to show you a Dreamcast review. Um, this is the system itself. This is the last series they've ever made until Sega found them and then they caught them and then they said stop. This is the last um, generation, basically. The first Dreamcast had elongated screens. The second series was white and about the same exact thing as this, just white and it had a custom controller that was so hard to understand and the final third series was the black series which came in this type of case so I've had this Dreamcast since December of 2008 hence I got it for Christmas 200 bucks on eBay buy it now price if you go on eBay you'll see the white Dreamcasts and the black Dreamcasts if you want to match your Dreamcast, buy the black one. My Dreamcast is over by my TV, and I'm too lazy to pan my camera around, so... Well, without further ado, I'm going to open the case. So, when you open the case, let's open it. Down goes the flap, and the controller just eagerly pops out waiting to be reviewed. There it is. Now, my controller is the PAL version because I think the blue swirl looks awesome but I bought this from eBay the controller the controller originally is red which is connected to my Dreamcast with the red swirl my other original red control my controller first controller for my Dreamcast don't ask what happened has to do with a rabbit okay so um, here's my Dreamcast itself um, that's the system um, looks pretty cool but let's move it for one second and show what the case comes with, or what personally my case came with. Because there's other reviews that show that it came with an AV cable and stuff. came with the controller itself. So let's put the controller back in here. It came with um, an external cable, so I guess to use an external power. I guess to make the Dreamcast smaller and more compact for car trips and I'll show you what it comes with so I can tell you why I said car trips so connected it looks like this for some reason I got a weird Hong Kong connector but you know I can't complain it looks kinda cool and let me show you what just flew out of the case and fell to the floor which is the um, external car cable we went to Disney and I brought my Dreamcast with me and it was pretty cool I was able to play um, Expandable which is a pretty cool game on the Dreamcast also played Sonic um, and some other games like Tony Hawk so let's move this all out of the way and let's move this out of the way and let's um, play some Tony Hawk Pro Skater, which I believe is already in my Dreamcast. Yep. Okay, so let me show you how it looks. Top view looks like this. My camera has a glitch. For some reason, it freezes, but right here, opens fast. There you go. Feels like it's going to fly off, but that's what you get for chap, chap, uh, cheap Hong Kong's hardware. So here you got the four controller slots cool AV little slot so you can plug in your headphones god I'm so tired um that's why I'm talking like an idiot here you have the Dreamcast logo which looks like a squared version of the Dreamcast <coughs> copyright and um here you got the volume and the contrast you can pretty much tell this is a PlayStation 1 screen and they just kind of ripped out the PlayStation 1 screen plastic and replaced it with the Dreamcast plastic with very smooth hinges. Was that a rust sound? Uh oh, that's a problem. Whatever. Um, on the side you got the fan right here, ventilation chamber, whatever the hell you want to call it. On the back, you got the. Hey, look, it's my garbage camera. You got the Dreamcast um, sign. You got the AV cable, external cable actually, and you got the graphics cable right here, so you can plug it in your TV. The switch, so you can enable and disable your TV, or screen for the Dreamcast, so you can play on the TV, keep it on. 
And the cool thing about this system, it has two volume slides, one here for the back, for the side, speaker, and then you have the external thing, which I don't think a modem will fit with something that small. The cool thing about the Dreamcast is that the BIOS is hacked, which I think that's half the reason why Sega caught this and discontinued it. Or forced the company to. It's because it has a hacked BIOS, which means that it could play a game from any country, which means any encoded game from, let's say, uh, right here in America. So my system is NSTC. Well, I can play a PAL game, which is PAL is the other type that we know. So let's move the screen a bit down over here. That's about good enough. Okay. So we got the the um, cable connector right here. Plug the sucker in. And we're going to do a little tiny bit of a view of it for like a few minutes, like maybe two minutes. Let's see, it's right there, so we'll just plug it in here. And that's how it goes. The whole system's connected, now all systems go. Classic Dreamcast sound, and there we go. Let the camera focus, focus, there we go. There we go, perfect. Dreamcast logo and all. Since it's hacked, it's gonna have this annoying thing pop up every single second. I think I can disable that, I don't know. Let me see if I can make it look better. There we go. That looks just a little bit better, there we go. Perfect. I'm playing um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Free Skate. So the game is very interactive. The system itself is very fast. Right now, if I was using the camera speaker, it would be being raped by the CD sound, but the Dreamcast was known for the CD sound, which is extremely loud. And I mean extremely loud. Let's play. So if you can see very carefully, I'm playing the game. Looks like garbage because I have the light on, and plus you can see my reflection, so hello. Um, so yeah, the system itself is very cool. It's not as glossy as it looks on the camera. I can see pretty well. Um, since it's the PlayStation 1 screen, you won't expect amazing, but I can see pretty good colors. The contrast helps a lot. The game looks pretty nice. Amazing for a Dreamcast system. Um, I know what I'm doing. I'm, so I can play normal. I can play any Dreamcast game. So if you have a friend from Hong Kong, which is very rare, but if you do, tell him Ni Hao, whatever the language is, because you can actually tell him that you can get your games or his games from his country and play it here so if he has a copy of Shenmue 2 send it to me because I want to play it um, because I don't want to get it for Xbox I want to play it on its home console the Dreamcast um, so the game itself is pretty cool on the Dreamcast and plus playing a system that's not from here is pretty cool like just itself and the helicopter just broke through the roof and I just messed up so I can play any Dreamcast game so if I have a game from PAL I can play that PAL game so enjoy the video because I'm gonna turn it off right now so I hope you enjoy the video um, and I hope this encouraged you for you to get a Dreamcast um, to buy a Dreamcast all you gotta do is go to eBay they sell them for 200 you may get ripped and get $700 those Dreamcasts are the ones that are white. The white ones are the ones before the black ones, and the white ones are the same thing as the black ones. Just the black ones is a special edition, and the funny thing is, the special edition is cheaper. So it's like an Xbox and an Xbox Elite. Get the Elite. Elite's better. Elite's black. Black is awesome. 
First consoles are made in black. White is black. Kind of racist, but whatever. So, and that's about it. The video's over. I hope you buy a Dreamcast, like I said. It's a very cool thing to own, and I hope in the future it'll get very valuable because they don't sell these anymore. And, um, they'll get rare over time from the companies that have them in, you know, factories. Not factories, but, you know, warehouses. They'll say, what the heck is this Dreamcast garbage? Just throw it away. And, you know, over time it will get rare. So, if right now Dreamcast can sell it to $700, I'd probably bet this thing could be sold for like maybe a few thousands later on in the future. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you like this video.